All right, TG, let me tell you about how my game nearly fell apart. This tale involves autism, Shadowrun, betrayal, friendship, and approximately $12,000 in dragon dildos. Oh my god. <laughs> you know it's off to a good start. No, I am not joking. Names change to protect the innocent. Forever DM for a group. Playing Shadowrun 5th edition. Met my players through community college, so predictably, like, half of them are autistic. Like, literally, though. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, please. From henceforth, the at symbol denotes that they're on the spectrum. Group consists of at Bob, awesome dude to hang out with, hilarious and knows anything there is to know about weird niche internet shit. Regularly makes friends with awful people on purpose to watch them because he thinks it's funny. It is. <laughs> at John, a quiet guy who doesn't talk much or roleplay much, but he's on top of the rules and is super nice dude. Oh, that's one way to be a least, you know. Greg, fit bro. All in all, way the hell too normal to be in the group. Mike. That one guy who always plays fe- <laughs> he always <laughs> plays female characters, yet somehow pulls it off. Kenny, which is his real name because fuck this guy. That guy, incarnate, is eventually kicked out of the group. Surprisingly, the story is not about him. Maybe later. At Craig, metalhead slash punk fanatic. Best fucking rigger I've had in a game. I said rigger, not the gamer word. And they were all nearly torn asunder by dragon dildos. Everything's going great for a while. Everyone's having fun and playing what really amounts to a great Shadowrun campaign. Then, one day, I log into our group Facebook page and at Bob just posted. I don't want to play Shadowrun anymore. I don't want to see at John anymore. Nobody will tell me what happened. He posts about an hour later that he'll still play. But you can't just throw shit down like that and have shit be cool. We show up, as per norm, on Friday to at Bob's house, hoping shit was indeed cool. At Bob is acting detached. Won't tell anyone shit until at John shows up and these dudes just straight up act like the other doesn't exist. Oh, I can you even do that? Eventually the rest of them pull me aside and explain what happened. You see, at Bob and at John have a mutual friend who draws commissions as her only source of income and then complains about not having money. She lives at home with her parents. I'm told she owes Bob like $250 and he thinks she's a shitty person, which means a lot coming from him. So he doesn't want his friends buying shit from her until she gets her shit together, since apparently she's throwing money down a hole. And how is she going to make the money to pay him? I have no idea. God knows. At John bought things from her. At Bob, anger is now understood. At Bob was trying to get people to boycott her slash stage an intervention for her crippling addiction. What addiction, you ask? Purchasing dragon dildos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, one of those types. Let me emphasize this. An autistic man was trying to stage an intervention for his friend for her dragon dildo addiction. How do you get addicted? To, was she addicted to actually buying them? Did she go through them? Did they get knackered that quickly? How do you wear the mic? I have no idea, Megan. I have no idea. I burst out laughing instantly. <laughs> At Bob was upset by this and explains the reason for his anger. At John gave her money for a commission despite knowing she was just going to buy more dildos. He was being a dildo enabler. (laughs) That was actually said. This was real life. This was apparently happening. My Shadowrun game was going to fall apart due to two grown men having a disagreement about how to treat (laughs) dragon dildo addiction. (laughs) Well, what other way do you put that? You know what I mean? As a GM, you can have a game fall apart at any time, and for any reason, really. It doesn't usually end at a good time, and it doesn't usually end with everyone happy. But fuck me if I was going to let it end like that. We managed to get them to talk to each other and slightly reconcile. But I was now curious. What is the actual extent of this woman's addiction? The answer is she owns over 100 dragon dildos. She apparently washes them in the dishwasher. Oh my god, in her parents' home. Oh, sweet. Oh, my God. I have video evidence. What? There's a video link. This is a screenshot. Oh. Hold on, guys. One second. Hold on. Right, so um, th- this video exists. We uh, typed it into the it's search. It's real. Um, she puts dragon dildos in her dishwasher. Let's just watch this. This is why it's a good idea to not, this is why it's a good idea to not use... Why is there so <laughs> many of them? <laughs> Apparently she's got over 100, Megan. <laughs> This is real. This I, isn't I like, oh, fake and gay why, shit. Why oh my god, the oh top god, drawer is full of it as well. 
Mate, why why should you put me imagine imagine coming down? Imagine Imagine finding, your pet your like your mum and your dad coming in like eating your cereal in the morning and then you go to put your bowl, bowl in the dishwasher and there's just all these but, um, what? dragon dildos. Nothing's chopped up. That's next level. Everything's oh that my is generally next level. That's the last time I used that. Um all I can say is, um, guys, please do not... Do not do this. Do not... Well, that too. And don't buy them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, uh, please don't go out of your way and then harass this poor girl because the videos... I'm not going to link to the video. No, but, we're not going to link um, to the video and we're not giving any information away. Um, and we'll actually black out the YouTube link. Yeah, so please don't. But I can't believe this is actually real. It's real. This is not a quarter size amount of dish soap. This, this is... Like a five-year-old. Five no, it's <laughs> not a five-year-old bubble bath. <laughs> no, with all them dildos in there. <laughs> but why are they so like? What? What makes? I'm screaming about dildos, and I forget our fucking windows <laughs> open. <laughs> windows wide open. But what is it that makes them dragon exactly? Are they like weird? Have they got weird designs on them or something? I don't know. I can't watch this anymore. No, Let's get back like, to the like, video. Back, back to the back to the story, guys. There was a palpable air of tension for several sessions thereafter. In character, they treated each other fine, but that's about it. Grip dynamic was shook, and it was affecting the story. I couldn't advance my goddamn story until they resolved this dildo-based feud. <laughs> I would love to tell you I pulled some bullshit and fixed a grip dynamic by doing some master stroke in-game to get them to make up. But what actually happened was they just acted like it never happened a couple of weeks later. And now they joke about it, like... They weren't at each other's throats for weeks over dildos. <laughs> I mean, but what do you do? Like, you know, with that... I don't know, I've never been in that situation. I don't even want to get in that situation. No, neither do I. Really, though, the most absurd part of the story is that we actually successfully finished the campaign with a satisfying ending, then moved on to play games that hadn't been tainted by memories of brightly coloured Dracodons. <laughs> 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 oh my god that, um, that was a very I, I wanted a story about Shadowgun guys not Dragon I, I didn't but, think it was going to go this far west yeah um, look guys so I'm not even going to try and monetize this video um, some good news though you know uh, you know them lizard titties excellent video actually to talk about this um, oh yeah well, excellent video excellent video to talk, to talk about it we do have um, some new stock of the lizard titties and other models and there's tons honestly there's tons of new models there's tons and tons and tons of stuff so look get on over to the ebay store and have a look and see if you want anything because this video ain't being monetized yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but look it, help, it does help us out a lot um, definitely. and if you want to buy your friend a novel do present for Christmas yeah, somebody exactly. in your gaming group Go get for it. It. You know get them I mean? some lizard titties yeah. or get them some other girl titties just go yeah, get titties there's, there's tons of titties so don't worry about that and also we're getting kobolds in soon so look forward to that yeah. and also cat people mm -hmm. it's, like, it's going to get really cat weird girls. it's going to get really weird but like, I hope you guys enjoyed this story um, it was a bit bizarre a bit different from what it was, it was like a weird mix between like a normal 4chan ship post story time and let's be honest there was no shadow gun at all in this. no was there just wasn't a, it was just a ship post <laughs> Um, hope you guys enjoyed though. Uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye!